Four years ago, something incredible happened in Malaysia. The King Mohammed V married a beauty queen from Moscow, and they looked great together. However, just a year later, the king kicked her out of the palace, even though she was pregnant at the time. It's a shocking story that leaves us with many questions. Why did he abandon his wife and child? What secrets did the beauty queen keep? And how does she live now, three years after the divorce? Keep watching to find out more about this fascinating story. But before we continue, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. Let's dive in. It all started when a 39-year-old man, who happened to be the king of Malaysia, surprised everyone by marrying a 26-year-old model from Russia. Her name was Oksana Vovadina, and she had won the Miss Moscow contest. Everyone expected the king to marry a Malaysian woman from a royal family, but he had other plans. He was a very powerful and wealthy person, and it seemed like he could do whatever he wanted. However, the couple had a big difference in age, 23 years. The king was the same age as Oksana's father, which led many people to question whether their marriage was based on love. Some even went as far as to accuse Oksana of marrying the king solely for his money and power. Oksana Vovadina is a girl from a small town in Russia called Taganrog. Her dad is an orthopedic doctor and her mom is a musician. From a young age, Oksana was determined to make it big on an international scale, and she started learning English to help her achieve this goal. Unlike other girls, her ambition wasn't just to get married, but to get a great education and find an excellent job. After finishing school, she moved to Moscow, where she became a master of management. While studying, she decided to try her luck in a beauty pageant, and to everyone's surprise, won the coveted Miss Moscow cram. After that, she was given an incredible opportunity to work abroad. While working at a luxurious watch stand, she met a man named Muhammad. Little did she know, he was the Sultan of Kelantan in Malaysia. Oksana couldn't believe her luck. She had met a real king. To lighten the mood, she joked that she was the Queen of Moscow. As they chatted over dinner, they exchanged phone numbers and started talking every day. Despite living in different parts of the world, they both wanted to see each other again. However, Oksana had to move to New York for her new modeling contract. One day out of the blue, the king invited her and her parents to Kuala Lumpur. Oksana was completely fascinated by Malaysia, a place she had never been to before. One evening, Muhammad mustered up the courage to express his love and proposed to Oksana to be his wife. To his delight, the girl said yes, and they were overjoyed. Before Oksana, Muhammad was married to a princess from Thailand, but their marriage ended in divorce. However, in 2018, Muhammad V and Oksana tied the knot in a luxurious wedding celebration. First, they celebrated in Moscow, then in Malaysia, making it a grand affair. Oksana converted to Islam and changed her name to Rihanna Petra, showing her dedication to the love she found with Muhammad. She moved to Kuala Lumpur, setting into a palace fit for a princess, just like in the fairy tale of Cinderella. Sadly, this fairy tale story had an unhappy ending. At first, everything was perfect. They spent lots of time together, traveled to beautiful places, and planned to have children. A few months after their wedding, Oksana found out she was pregnant. However, things quickly took a turn for the worse. Her husband kicked her out of the palace, and she had to move back to Russia. Oksana was heartbroken and couldn't understand why their relationship had fallen apart. She thought that perhaps the king's family had intervened, as they had never approved of their marriage. They believed that a simple girl from Russia was not worthy to be the wife of the king or bear his children. To make matters worse, Oksana's Instagram post claiming that her son was the future king of Malaysia only added fuel to the fire. The royal family was furious and put immense pressure on Muhammad to renounce his throne and divorce her. Oksana gave birth to a beautiful baby boy. She was overjoyed and couldn't wait for her husband, Sultan Muhammad V, to meet their son. 
However, things did not go as planned. The king refused to accept the child as his own and even went as far as accusing Oksana of adultery. This came as a shock to Oksana, who was heartbroken and frustrated. She couldn't understand why her husband would abandon her and their child, especially since she never gave him any reason to be jealous. Moreover, the baby looked exactly like his father, leaving no doubt that he was Muhammad's son. At court, the former king continued to deny that the child was his and used Oksana's alleged infidelity as the reason for their divorce. This devastated Oksana, who had no choice but to raise her son alone. She later found out that Sultan Muhammad V had divorced her through Tanakh e Bidat, the most severe and irreversible divorce in Islam. Although the king never met his wife or son after the divorce, he did provide them with financial support. Oksana also learned that there was another reason why the king suddenly fell out of love with her. He had uncovered secrets from her past that she had kept hidden from him. The woman always tried to present herself as a member of high society. She loved to dress up in expensive clothes and act like she was better than everyone else. But little did people know that she had a wild and crazy past. Back when she was in college, she used to go to parties and date lots of different guys. One summer, she even went on a reality show called Holidays in Mexico, where she flirted with all sorts of men. In one of the episodes, things got really heated and she ended up making love to one of the guys in the swimming pool. The whole thing was filmed and shown on TV for the world to see. When the woman's Muslim family found out about her wild past, they were absolutely devastated. They didn't care that it all happened before she met her husband, Muhammad. The king, too, was extremely angry when he found out about what had happened on the reality show. It was a great shame for their family, and nobody could accept it. In the end, this scandalous revelation may have been the main reason why the woman and Muhammad broke up. Oksana's life took a dramatic turn when she started to receive threats from someone close to the king. To protect herself, she had to be cautious and even carry a weapon. The situation was so dire that she had to start a new life in London. Despite the challenges, Oksana persevered and became a single mother living in Great Britain. Her son Leon was born three years ago, but sadly he has never met his father, the former Malaysian king. However, people say that Leon looks just like his father, which brings both joy and sadness to Oksana's heart. There are also rumors that Oksana lives a life of luxury thanks to the king's money, but this couldn't be further from the truth. She works hard to provide for her family and make a good life for her son. Muhammad recently got married again, but unfortunately, he doesn't seem to be involved in raising their child. As a result, the young mother is left to work hard to earn a living for herself and her child. It's not easy for her to juggle work and parenting all by herself, but she does it with determination and strength. On the other hand, Oksana has landed a job at a big real estate company as an investment advisor. She spends her days in the office, relying solely on herself to make her way up the corporate ladder. Despite the long hours, she seems to be doing well, judging from her Instagram posts. In fact, she appears to be living the high life, traveling to luxurious resorts and dressing in expensive clothes. But all is not rosy in Oksana's life. She's a single mother and her son is growing up bilingual, speaking both English and Russian. The boy often inquires about his father, which makes Oksana very anxious and nervous. She knew this question would come eventually, so she prepared herself with possible answers. When Leon asked about his dad, Oksana quickly showed him the map of where London and Malaysia were and told him that his father lives there, far away, and cannot come to see him. It's a tough situation for any parent, and Oksana can't help but feel sad that her son's father doesn't want to see him. This story serves as a lesson for everyone, especially girls. No matter who you are or who you are married to, life can change in an instant. That's why it's crucial to have an education and a job to rely on yourself. 
It's hard to say if the former king will ever agree to meet his son, but it's important to keep hope alive. In the meantime, Oksana will continue to provide her son with the love and support he needs. What do you think about this situation? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content. Bye.